My lovely, lovely imps. I have a small treat for you all. If you haven't seen it, I did a long form react to the uh, Death Stranding 2 trailer, which was very important to me. Death Stranding is a very, very important game to me. And I did that. You can check that out on my channel if you're watching this uh, as a video. And of course, if you're live, you just got to see it. But there's another announcement and I want us to enjoy it together because I am super on board for basically any project that Kojima is doing right now. And Kojima has announced something that I think is going to get a lot of people very exciting, excited, which is a action espionage game named, codenamed Fizzint. Now you might be going, with Kojima making an action espionage game? No, what? How is that possible? He would never make one of those. But of course, he is. And if, you, and if you're one of those people out there who is already freaking out even hearing this news, then you found the right place. Because we're going to listen to the announcement of his new return to the action espionage genre. And this is a bit, a bit of an odd <coughs> change of events, right? Because of course, everybody knows... Well, actually, I guess everybody doesn't know. For those who don't know... Um, Kojima, uh, of course, made the Metal Gear Solid series, world-famous game, classic games, incredibly critically acclaimed, awesome, amazing series. I talk about them all the time. But in his last game in that series, Metal Gear Solid V, uh, things got very bad at the studio that he was working uh, at, which was a studio called Konami. And in fact, uh, things got so bad um, that, uh, uh, it was, uh, I would say it qualifies as nightmarish abuse. Um, his team, uh, was severely mistreated. He was severely mistreated. Uh, uh, there was massive conflict between him and higher level executives. Um, many people would say that his attempts to make the game were sabotaged. Uh, fans of his would say that they were deliberately sabotaged so that they could ultimately yoink it out from underneath him and make money by uh, turning his beloved franchise, a world-famous franchise, which he built from the ground up, uh, into a cheap sellout product that they could plaster over everything. And, you know, I don't know. They have a Metal Gear Solid uh, pachinko machine now. They got a casino slot machine. They made a... Uh, a, a online only uh, survival game set in a, a spin-off of the Metal Gear universe. So who knows? Maybe there's something to that. But of course, Kojima is no longer working with Konami. Uh, he, he left Konami and uh, the Metal Gear Solid series died, essentially. Um, of course, there were some uh, questionable products that were licensed under Metal Gear Solid. And of course, there's all kinds of crossovers and, you know, Konami's still making money off of it. But this is a pretty big deal that he's announced that he's going back to the genre, but with a different studio. And this time, uh, he is going to be working with PlayStation Studios. So that's very interesting. And it's an, a, an odd turn of events. But let's see the, uh, let's see the little preview here. It's not a trailer. It's just a discussion. But let's hear it. <laughs> And now here with me today is visionary game creator and founder of Kojima Productions, Kojima-san. Hi. Hey. Welcome. Today, I'm excited to announce that together, as part of the PlayStation and Kojima Productions partnership, Hideo is going to take us on an exciting new adventure. One that I've been encouraging him to reinvent for years. Yes, I'm original IP. I'm a new action espionage game. え、準備を始めてますけども、え、デストランディング 2 40 years he's been making games. That's incredible. A new action espionage game by Hideo Kojima. 
This is one of my favorite genres, one that I've been hoping you would revisit with a bold new vision. Can you share anything else about this new development? えっとですね、え、まだ詳しくは言えませんけども、え、最先端のテクノロジーと、え、世界中の才能を集結して作る予定です。え、もちろんインタラクティブなゲームなんですけども、え、ルック、物語、テーマ、キャスト、演技、
Let's continue. 作で、えー、映画とゲームの壁を越えたいと思っています。We're all really excited about this project and we will fully support you with the latest innovation Sony has to offer. More details to come. Stay tuned. And of course, the flex. And you know they gotta do the they gotta do the mega drone shot uh, at the end to flex. But I mean, let's be real. Um, the you know the drone shot at the end is nothing compared to what he did for Death Stranding. The the, the degree of mocap work and camera work that they put to work for Death Stranding uh, all throughout the game, not just in the cutscenes, which are like amazing in and of themselves, but throughout the game generally, um, it, it it towers above. The, like any other game that you can think of, okay? Like there's no other game that goes quite as hard as, uh, you know, as um, Death Stranding did. Death Stranding put the production aspect of the game, uh, the attention to detail and the devotion to bringing real fucking people, real actors and real talent into the space. Um, it was, it, there's no other game that's like it. Yeah. So I'm excited. I, I'm I'm tentatively excited. Obviously, Fizzent doesn't give us much to uh, to work with. We don't know much about it. But it seems like what he's going to do is that he's going to bring his mentality that he used in Death Stranding and now Death Stranding 2 towards a Metal Gear Solid spiritual successor. That's what it sounds like to me. Gransom says, Death Stranding has so much mechanical engagement in its gameplay. It's awesome. You're always engaging with the game. Yes, it's, in it's incredible. I could talk about Death Stranding all night. I love it so much. Antifa Pyro says, if I remember correctly, Kojima wanted the Death Stranding world to be a one-to-one -one in terms of size to the actual country of America, but the tech of the PS4 limited him. I can imagine him wanting to achieve that, but uh, that would have been pretty goddamn difficult. Yeah, that would have been pretty damn difficult. But he's ambitious, and I I respect that ambition. I'll be completely honest. Kojima is one of my biggest creative and artistic inspirations. Uh, I can't even imagine the level of devotion to a creative vision that it takes uh, to do what he does. Uh, seriously. I mean, I can, I can imagine it, but it's hard for me to imagine, like, just how much time and effort... He, he puts into the things that he makes and the scale at which he aspires to make them and how much success he's actually had. And of course, you know, he's done that by building connections with lots and lots of other people, which uh, is another thing that's really cool about uh, Death Stranding and now Death Stranding 2 is that he's very, very, he, he, he loves to show off the amount of collaboration that's going on. He loves to, uh, to, 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 highlight his his friends and artistic inspirations you know i mean he called george miller his god he said i can't believe i got my god george miller you know to appear in the death stranding 2 game and trailer like you know, he has love for these other creative figures that is i don't know you don't see it often and it's nice to see anyway uh i, I i'm very excited to see what he comes up with and uh, obviously, we got Death Stranding 2 first, which is coming out in 2025, and then this game will be in the pipe. So, got a lot. Uh, we're going to be eating good over the next couple of years. Anyway, if you enjoyed this little quick teaser and analysis and some of my input, make sure you press subscribe and like below. Keep listening for the single. Why did I say that? Sing single? Single? Jesus Christ! This is what I get for doing this segment at the end of my stream. If you're watching this video now, you're lucky that it's even recorded at all because my brain is falling apart. Anyway, keep listening for the signal. God damn.